Welcome back to Restore Thrive. We are talking about advanced side planks. Today we're going to show you how to do the Copenhagen plank. Now this is a great thing if you've had a hamstring strain, a groin strain, and you're going through rehab, you've got out of that painful stage, and you're looking for some progression. Because we know that just doing regular side planks in isolated hamstring work is not enough to get you back onto the field. We want to integrate your midsection and your upper body a little bit more, and so we're gonna show you with this exercise. Now what you're gonna need for this is some sort of box, bench, bolster to get your foot up on. We're gonna use the bench here, and what I'm gonna do is get on my side with my top leg on the bench. I want both legs straight, I want my toes pulled up, on my bottom side here, I want my elbow under my shoulder, my hands spread out, my shoulder active. I want to be shrinking my or shrugging my shoulder up towards my ear. Active shoulder, active midsection, and I'm going to come up into a side plank position. Now this is start position. The work is lifting that bottom leg up towards the bench and coming back down. So we want you with this exercise to do 10 reps. Pausing for just a second at the top, coming back down, making sure you're not rotating your upper body forward or backwards. And when you get to number 10, we want you to hold that 10th rep for 10 seconds. You're going to shake a little bit as you hold that. You might feel like you want to drop that bottom leg, but stay in the fight. Stay there until you get that 10 second hold. Start with one set on each side. A lot of times you'll find that you're stronger on one side than the other. And that's a great opportunity for you to address that limiting factor, bring more balance to your body and more athleticism to your game. So give that a try at home. Let us know what you guys think. We'll talk to you again soon.